Today, Jeff and I are gonna be eating at every single celebrity restaurant in Las Vegas from the cheapest to the most expensive. But this is not the cheapest. The cheapest is Mark Wahlberg's Wahlburgers. And we're getting the most expensive thing on the menu at every place. Ready? Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. so ready. Coming in at $20, the most expensive thing on the menu is the Impossible Burger. Shout out to the vegan and gluten-free eaters because we're here today. So the Impossible Burger, it is Mark's choice. Gotta do right by Marky Mark. Dude, I'm kinda scared. I don't really like Impossible Burgers. This is a $20 Impossible $20 burger. Impossible. That's the burger. most expensive Impossible Burger I've ever seen. That looks disgusting. It looks like what I expected it yeah, to look yeah, like. It looks pretty lifeless. I guess all burgers are lifeless, but this one looks like it never had life. Burger cheers. Burger cheers, baby. <laughs> I like the sauce. No, yeah, sauce is great. It doesn't taste like meat, though. Yeah. I really don't want to be a hater, but this isn't good. It's not like you're eating a burger, but it's not bad. You're not enjoying it, then? You hate it? No, I don't hate it. I feel like the toppings are pretty good. Yeah, everything around it is a normal burger topping. Yeah. The only thing is that vegan patty. Where are you putting this on the chip? It's so hard to give it a tier list because I would never order this, so it's kind of unfair for me to judge it off this but we are ordering the most expensive thing. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Oh, that's pretty good. Because I enjoy eating gluten-free and vegan stuff, because I'm gluten-free and vegan myself, I'm gonna give this a B tier, but it's a good start. So we are on to our next restaurant. And yes, before you ask, Jeff and I went to every single restaurant in 24 hours. And our second restaurant is Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chip. Can I do a lobster and shrimp box? We're gonna do Gordon's tartare. We'll do the sriracha aioli. And we're gonna add one fish to the box. All right, the fish and chips are here. That looks beautiful. Let's start with the lobster. Do you just eat it like this? I think so. Holy oh cow. Wait, what the heck? It's huge, bro. Bro, it's hot. James versus lobster tail. That's so good. That flavor is amazing. The batter is perfectly the batter, seasoned. This is the best batter I've ever yeah. had on fish and chips. And I'm surprised how much lobster we're getting out of this tail. Should we try the shrimp? Yep. Yeah. It's so hot. Oh my God. This might be the best shrimp I've had. We also added fish. I know it's not part of the most expensive. We feel like we needed to try it. That's so good. Now, I want to say lobster is the best. Shrimp second, fish third. But the shrimp might beat the lobster for me. I think the shrimp me. beat the lobster. The shrimp was the so shrimp good. The shrimp was amazing. Also, the fries. These fries look incredible. This one specifically is Parmesan cheese and truffle. Wow. The last time Jeff and I did a video like this, we ate at only NBA player restaurants. We went to Shaq's Chicken Shack, and I gave it an S here at the first place we went to, and you yeah. convinced me to drag it down to an A. All right, maybe I'm jumping the gun. Right early. All right, all right, we'll settle for A tier. But here's the thing with this one, Jeff. I'm not gonna do that. This is an S tier. Now, Green, wow. you know how like, they have Michelin stars? This you is a Jeff and James bar, star. Yeah. What is our star called? A Rui star. We just gave this our a Rui star. I think it's time to get in our car to do a little driver's drive-ins and dives. Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri time. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. I had to say it. What the hell's a dive? Dive, bro. Dive. I don't know how to dive. <laughs> We're here at Guy Fieri's Vegas Kitchen and Bar. Guy Fieri, legendary eater. He eats at all these diners, drive-ins, and dives. Okay. That's his thing. Is this a diner, drive-in, or a dive? I don't think this is any of the above. Yeah. The most expensive thing at this menu, Jeff, is the Vegas strip steak. All right, so we've gotten our steak. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that tenderness. Mmm. Wow. There's a lot of flavor. Very well seasoned. Perfect, medium, rare. I'm gonna try the asparagus too. I like the asparagus. Okay. These are just massive fries. Yeah, that's pretty good. Very oily. They got good seasoning on it. I like that. Yeah, I will say, this place has the best service of any restaurant I've been to in the last four months. What makes this steak really good, I feel like, is the seasoning. I feel like the crust is not the craziest, but there's like so many amazing flavors. I really like this like salsa. That It pairs with it really good. All right, should we hit the strip? Let's go. Jeff, what would you give Guy Fieri's kitchen? I am going to give it for his price point. Honestly, an A tier. It was actually very good. Good, good portion size and a good price. I'm gonna be giving it a B tier. So, so far we have done Mark Wahlberg, Gordon Ramsay, and Guy Fieri, and we are going right back to my favorite, Gordon Ramsay. Hell's Kitchen, baby. I am so excited to try Gordon Ramsay's Beef Wellington. It's the most expensive thing at the menu here. Is he gonna call us an idiot sandwich in there? I hope he does. <laughs> Let's go. You have the Beef Wellington. This is your dream come true. James has been talking about this Beef Wellington since we got it. Yeah, it's the Beef Wellington. I mean, I feel like I gotta get a little bit of the sauce. That's just beautiful. This is the art of work. That's the sauce is so rich. All right. Absolutely incredible. Wow, I feel like what makes the Beef Wellington so special is it doesn't just taste like a steak and pastry. There's like so many more flavors to it, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, there's a lot going on. Bro, that is so good. The Beef Wellington also comes with these veggies. I don't care. And mashed potatoes. 
Oh my god. Amazing dude. The mashed potatoes are crazy, bro. Since we gave Gordon our first Rui star, Jeff and I decided we couldn't judge this place only off the most expensive thing. We decided to get a side. Mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Try this mac and cheese, bro. Oh my god. That is good. It's like the bacon flavor. It's not school lunch mac and cheese. Nope. It's like very liquidy, but very flavorful at the same time. I'm in love. I'm speechless. Is Gordon gonna go two for two for that? He's getting a Rui star. This is a double S tier. S tier. We're here at Buddy B's, probably no more as the cake ball. You ready to be a boss? I'm ready to be a boss. Buddy B has two restaurants right next to each other. One is an actual restaurant. The other is his standard dessert shop that you see all over touristy areas. We decided to order the entire dessert menu and compare it directly to his dessert shop next door. I don't know what colors to pick. I think they all taste the same. Very sweet. It's cake. Nothing special. Each of these layers has its own frosting. Yeah, so I feel like it needs low key. It feels like it's been in that package for a little bit. It's not bad. I feel like I'm not a cake person. I don't love cake. Same. A little too sugary for me. It's a little dry. Look at the frosting ratio on yours versus mine. Yeah, there's too much frosting on this one. So far, buddy, we are unimpressed. So we are here at Buddy B's. We just ate the cake. We're at the actual restaurant now. All right, first thing we're going to try is the cannoli. Cheers, brother. Ooh, dipping there's sauce. a chocolate dipping sauce. <laughs> I don't think I'm a big cannoli guy. So this is basically cream and pastry. Now, Jeff, I know you're a gluten-free vegan. I'm making this up, too. This is my favorite dessert, the creme brulee. Oh, that's a good crust. Great crust. That's really good. That's a great creme brulee. It's a butterscotch creme brulee. It's a little yeah. bit different, but I really like it. Cheesecake? Cheesecake. That's a really good cheesecake. I feel like it's very light for a cheesecake. Really? It's kind of heavy to me. It's great. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's Do you think this is a lighter or heavy cheesecake? Yeah, you break it. Pretty heavy, right? Two people say it's heavy, so it is on the heavy side, Dad. I like it. Yeah, it's good though. Our final dessert. Banana Foster. Okay. Interesting. The flavor's really good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try the banana too. Mm, banana Foster. Right. The creme brulee, I think, was easily the best. I'm gonna have to give it to the cannoli. All four things were better than what we got over there, and they did cost the same per item. Crazy. Where are you feeling tier-wise? I think I have to count both. You're no gonna way. count the other slice 100%. too? 100%, he owns both. That's true, he does right? own both. It's not like different restaurants. I'm gonna have to put that in a C tier. I'm gonna give this place a B tier. I just, I don't know, I liked it more than Wahlburger. Okay, fair. So the next restaurant is Amalfi, which is by Bobby Flay. He's another celebrity chef. I grew up watching a ton of Food Network, so I was super excited to try Bobby Flay's restaurant, Amalfi. But the moment we arrived, they didn't let us in with our big camera, so we had to improvise. We were about to do the Battle of the Food Network stars. The next restaurant is Giada, by Giada De Laurinaitis. The most expensive thing at both places is their steaks. Oh, we're gonna have a steak battle? Yes. we're. About to have a steak off. So we're starting with Bobby Flay. Who do you think is gonna win? Based on the name, I just feel like Giada is gonna take it. That's true. I feel like a guy named Bobby is more of like a burger and fries type of guy. Giada is like a sophisticated Italian woman who spends her summers in Greece. And she picks out the finest like cherry tomatoes in the vineyard. Oh my god. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> The tenderness, the texture, the butter. That is an incredible steak. Yes, perfectly cooked, medium rare, way better than the first steak we ate today. This is definitely a different type of steak than the Guy Fieri steak, but this is a better steak. Bobby, I didn't know you could cook like that. This might be one of the best steaks I've eaten. I feel like there could be a little bit more seasoning. On the crust. Like a smith, yeah, on the crust. Jeff, what did you think of Bobby Flay's? Bobby Flay's. Taste was amazing, seasoning was amazing, the tenderness was beautiful. So good, what about you, James? I'm giving it an A. Double A batteries, okay. we're giving it two A's. Yes. Are you ready for Giada's? I'm ready. We're here at Giada. This is a gorgeous restaurant, Jeff. It's like either romantic or it's kind of businessy. It's like you go to a board meeting with a client and your love interest works for the client. But how do you make a move? It'd be inappropriate. But, <laughs> but anyway, so this steak, the most expensive thing on the menu here, $112. I'm excited, man. Right Bro, on, oh I my mean, God. This is beautiful. The smell, the aroma, the aesthetic. Cheers, bro. Wow, that is good. What do you think? Aesthetically, the most beautiful steak I've seen in a minute. Oh yeah, there's a seasoning under the egg that we didn't get in that first bite. This is a beautiful cut of steak. It tastes amazing. Egg on top. I've never seen a steak with an egg on top like that. Correct, and it works so well. This steak is incredible, but I don't know if I think it's better than the Bobby Flay steak. It's not. Aesthetically, it's better. The cut itself is probably better. It's not as seasoned. I feel like Bobby's did have a lot more flavor. This one has like a burnt taste to it. Burnt taste is a little bit thicker. Yeah, for the extra 40 bucks, I don't know. 
Weird analogy. This is kind of like the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games starts, you know, you've got the handsome athletic beast from District 2. Yeah. You know, you've got the rich preppy kid who's been studying the Hunger Games his whole life from District 10. And then you've got Bobby Flay and his District 12 <laughs> steak. Bobby Flay's was like the Katniss Everdeen of steak. Giada's. I didn't like it as much as Bobby's. It's yeah. a sad day for all Giada day. fans. I thought I was going to have to save room for a, an S tier here, so I kept Bobby Flay's at A. But based off of that, I'm moving Bobby Flay's to an S. I'm also going to move Bobby Flay's up to an S. Okay. But where are you putting Giada? Based on the price point, $40 more, and it tastes not as good. B tier. I'm going to go B tier. So now we are heading to Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant. We're at Vanderpump Paris. Bro, this is the most beautiful restaurant I've ever seen in my life. The detail to decoration is amazing. The menu is like a newspaper. Oh my. I feel like I have to get a drink. The restaurant just opened like 10 minutes ago, and there's a long line. This is the line we waited in to get in here. Not really. We, we found a finesse to get in. We booked a reservation for 4.15 at like 4.10. Finesse. So while we're waiting on the $150 caviar, your boy got a drink. This is a beautiful looking drink. That is amazing. Gin, cucumber, agua faba. I don't know what agua faba is. Try it. That's one of the best drinks ever. Bro, like it's, it's refreshing. Dude, this is like one of those drinks. It, it doesn't even taste like it's alcoholic. This is an S tier cocktail. If you guys don't know, James took a master class in bartending, so he knows a little bit about drinks. Could you make this drink just off by tasting it? I don't think I could, bro. Yes. Bro, this is so gorgeous. What you are looking at is the birdcage. Caviar, lox, mini pancakes, chips, cream cheese, chives, egg stuff, and so much more. These things are crazy. Wow. Amazing. That is so good. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That is sour cream. I wonder what this is. Look at it. It's like a stack of potatoes. Wait, what is the white stuff? I think it's very light cheese. Yeah. That's pretty good. Not as good as the caviar. I think you're supposed to eat the caviar with a pancake. I think you are. Is this going to be the best lox I've ever had? Probably. Oh my god. I'm jumping into the portal. Mmm. Creamy, fresh. That is so good. Everything with caviar tastes amazing. But it's just so unique. This might be the best thing we've eaten. Okay, but it adds this like really unique salty flavor to pretty much anything that it's on. James, I think we're at the point where we've eaten enough to rank this. This is an S tier for me. Easy S tier. So we have one more. Now, I don't actually know anything about this man. His name is Tom Colucci. He's another celebrity chef, but he is the most expensive restaurant we're going to. There's a Wagyu tomahawk steak that costs 270 big bucks. More tomahawk? More, more tomahawk. What do you think it's going to have to do to top Bobby Flay? All right, price point matters because is so high. Yeah, it's 270. It has to be the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. So we've been making our tier list, but at the end of the video, guys, we are going to say what our favorite celebrity restaurant in all of Vegas is. We are at our final restaurant of the day, the Heritage Steakhouse. Jeff, first place to give us bread. Beautiful bread. Never seen bread like this. It's like a Hawaiian style sweet roll. Bro, they know how to butter us up. Ambiance vibes. How you feeling, bro? Amazing. But overall, the ambiance is beautiful. It's subtle. It's quiet. I have high expectations. Yeah, I think this is going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, but you got to understand, this is not no pony ounce steak. This is a 48 ounce. When someone orders this, they're like, a all hands on deck. Someone <laughs> just ordered the $240 steak. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I mean, we have a whole tree of rosemary. Yes. Cheers. Hold on now. Bro, that is special. There's like this like sweetness to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. I'm honestly at a loss for words. Beautiful. Oh my God. It's like perfectly seasoned. Yes. It's really rich. Yes. It's really buttery. Yes. It's tender. Yes. But it has this crazy sweetness flavor to it that I've never yeah. had on a steak before yeah. that I honestly can't describe, but it's unfathomably good. This is a good amount of steak. Pay a lot more, but it's double. So technically compared to the other steak, you got to divide the price by half. But this is a better steak. S tier. This is is getting the Rui star. Do we need to knock everything else in the S tier out of the S tier? Bro, I think we have to. We move everything down a tier. This is a tier. This is a loan. And it gets our only Rui star of the video. This is the best meal that we've had all day. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out me and Jeff eating all the NBA player restaurants as well. See you in the next one.